something special is happening in New York State right now. New York State should be one of the seven states that is democratically controlled, meaning the state houses and the and the governor, the state senate and the legislature and the governor are all Democrats. Uh, so they should be passing sweeping progressive legislation. That's what voters voted for. Except New York's also a tricky place. Uh, there's some political games happening, and eight Democrats and another Democrat who is not part of this conference, they decided to split off. Join the Republicans as elected Democrats from Democratic districts, overwhelmingly Democratic districts, and they are working with the Republicans. They are committee chairs in the Republican uh, in, in caucusing with them essentially, and they form this thing called the Independent Democratic Conference. And what does that do? That prevents the state Senate from being controlled by Democrats, which means that you can't pass a whole lot of progressive legislation. I'm going to show a quick clip of uh, what's going on in New York. All IDC members voted for the Dream Act. All IDC members Stand up and say, here I am, and I represent my constituents, and as a Latino man, the first Dominican to the Senate from our your district, you have a responsibility, and you are not ready. Wow, good for that guy, right in his face. Right in his face. So that was Senator Peralta who recently joined the IDC. Um, the IDC has been around for about seven or eight years at this point, but it's been growing in size. So that the Demo it's very difficult to, for the Democrats uh, to remain control, although there's some special elections and a lot of these folks will be primaried. Uh, but that's what's so great is that you have a very excited uh, population of voters now who are engaged and showing up at these town halls and they weren't before. A lot of folks didn't even know what it was. And now they're paying attention, uh, but the, you know, people say, "Well, what is it? Why do why do they want to be part of this conference if they know they're going to get primaried?" Well, they get bigger offices, they get um, perks, their staffers, they have their own staffers. Their staffers, like their communications person, makes one hundred and twenty six thousand dollars a year, and she's not working for the Senate Democrats; she's working for the IDC. They get to introduce bills. They get. Um, pork, so money to bring back to their districts. It's a crazy situation. And, and, and you wonder, well, why doesn't Governor Cuomo, the Democratic governor who leads the party, why doesn't he intervene? Turns out he likes the IDC. We've been talking about this a little bit. What, what are your thoughts? So, so when an IDC Democrat makes a pro-corporate move, screws over the Democrats, caucuses with the Republicans, and does something that hurts working people, the reason they're doing that isn't because of an ideology. They're doing that. That's a, that vote is a down payment on a job mm -hmm. when, they, when they lose. That's what that is. So, you know, we have a revolving door in government and, and business, and the people they're supposed to be regulating, and that's the problem. So that's what they're doing. You know, I just, I'll just. Tom Daschle used to be considered a liberal, and he was the leader of the Democrats in the Senate. And then he lost his uh, his race. And when they were trying to pass Obamacare, he came back to town in a limousine with two million dollars in his pocket. And he didn't have to say anything except walk around and let everybody know I got two million dollars yep. from the healthcare industry. If you pass Obamacare without a public option, you're going to get two million dollars too. So that's why the IDC Democrats do what they do. This isn't about ideology. If they really felt that way, they'd run as a Republican. Yep. But they don't run as Republicans, right? Because they are now a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? So that just like all the corporate Democrats. So that's why I think the IDC Democrats are doing that. And best guess what? People are catching on. And why are people catching on, Nomi? Because because people's lives are shitty. Uh -huh. That's why people are catching on. People have to make a decision over going to buy their medicine or send their kid to school or their kids under a mountain of debt just because they want to get educated so they can get a decent job in the first place. That's why people are catching on because they're feeling the pain and they're starting to pay attention to the corporatists who have been selling them out since Bill Clinton got elected in 1992. Yep. And some of the legislation that could be passed. If, if the Senate were controlled by Democrats as the voters voted, uh, single payer would have been passed. Uh, actual free college in, tuition. In New York City, they would have passed New single York payer? State, single payer. I mean, New York State? Yes, it was being proposed. 
It's, this is, it's crazy. And so, so and what is, where is Mario Cuomo come down on the yeah. single payer? Andrew Cuomo? I'm sorry, Andrew <laughs> Mario Cuomo. Mario Cuomo's a little bit more progressive yes. and he's dead. Um, you know, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fascinating how it all how it all turns into okay. a PR move for him. You would have had free, actual free college tuition, not this watered down version that they just passed. Uh, you would have had codified Roe v. v. Wade. So you think about the world we're in today, where every, there's so many rights that uh, are under attack right now by Donald Trump. And if New York State, the beacon for po progress is what they like to, you know, the Excelsior State, they're the progressive state. If they could actually codify Roe v. Wade, then we'd have Planned Parenthood in New York, regardless of what happens at the federal level, regardless of the budget cuts. And that stuff would all be in the New York budget. But because the Democrats are not controlling the Senate, you get watered down versions of bills, if you even get them, that are championed as progressive. But when you look at the details, you're like, oh no, this is, this is progressive washing because because Governor Cuomo uh, wants to control the narrative, and so he he's been criticized extensively for working with uh, the IDC. The head of the IDC is this guy Jeff Klein. He's the one on the right, and Cuomo's on the left in the picture back there. And uh, he's he's worked with them over the years because he knows that if he controls what legislation is actually passed, he can. It's basically triangulating. So that he can continue to raise money. One of the things that they didn't pass is ethics reform in New York. Mm. New York has the weakest campaign finance laws in the country. But if the Senate was controlled by Democrats, as it should be, you'd have ethics reform, you'd have tighter um, campaign finance laws. But who benefits from that? The Republicans, of course, the IDC, of course, and Governor Cuomo, who has intentions to run for president. And he's sitting on a coffer of like $20 million because he's raising money without this ethics reform. So, uh, Andrew Cuomo is the, uh, he's the latest version of corporate Democrat, right? So he's very much like Cory Booker in a sense where he presents as a, as a very progressive guy. He likes to present, they know all the words, they pay fealty to democracy, but then they get in bed with hedge funds managers and, and, and private people who wanna privatize education and everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. And Wall Street, of course. So, um, I, this is great that you're on this story. I can't believe this doesn't get more coverage. Well, I can believe it doesn't get more coverage in the corporate media because the corporate media is on the, is on the IDC side, right? They don't want to expose it. And, and uh, I wonder how MSNBC has covered this. I can't stomach to watch the goddamn channel anymore. Well, actually, it's, it's crazy to me because MSNBC does talk about local politics from Kansas. Rachel Maddow goes on these rants about some random district that has you know a clause in their city council. And then I said, I'm like, New York State, Governor Cuomo <laughs> could be one of seven states that is controlled by Democrats. It's the largest state in the union and you're ignoring what's happening. So I, I and also don't forget CNN, is, his brother is on CNN. Oh, There's a bunch of contributors on CNN right. who have worked for Governor Cuomo or do work with Governor Cuomo. I mean, it's, it's all a big family. So he you know, used to be that Governor Cuomo would pretend that he wasn't really aligned with the IDC. Now he just doesn't care. Uh, he says, it's like a marriage. If it works for you, it works. I really don't need to judge your marriage. Oh, and then, boy. And then. What mealy mouth bullshit that yeah. is. Then he says, this was in, in talking about um, the education for all that he had, had passed or put into his budget. Oh, that thing that's, that he pretended was free college for everybody, but it turns out it will probably only give free college to like 5% of the people, yeah, right? Like 10,000 people that are that could already afford. That, right. And, and by the way, it doesn't, doesn't take advantage of room and board, all the other benefits. If you, you have to work, uh, <laughs> right. there's a million different clauses to it. Right. Uh, so he says, this was a great, great progressive accomplishment that I think is right and makes sense for everyone. But it's passed by the Senate and I don't believe it would have been passed if it wasn't for the help of the IDC. So he has gone out there and praised the IDC. He's been criticized because he controls the Democratic Party, meaning he controls the funds of the Democratic Party. And he wasn't using that money to support Democratic Senate candidates who are supposed to be his partners. Wow. How is this man gonna run for president in the world that we're in today? The an how is he gonna be the anti-Trump? I, I have a feeling I know how. I think that John Ralston will say his opponent through chairs. <laughs> then uh, Rachel Maddow will bring John Ralston on. They'll say his opponent's violent, probably sexist, probably maybe even a racist or whatever. They'll repeat that shit at CNN because his brother works over there. And that's how Andrew Cuomo will become president because our mainstream corporate media, especially on the left, will let us down once again and will probably kneecap the progressive who tries to run against them. That's how Andrew Cuomo is gonna win. The real resistance is fighting against Trump 
and the establishment. Help us get investigative reporters that are gonna investigate both of them. TYTnetwork.com slash go.